Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our previous session, we have discussed about how lookup and vertical lookup functions work. In our today's session, we will be discussing about how index match works. So guys, if you are struggling with the V lookup, if you are struggling with the vertical lookup because it has many limitations. For example, you cannot find the data from the reference of a column which is on the right hand side and the data lies in your left. You cannot find that. Also, we need unique values for it. So, if, if because it has limitations, we have another solution for that, that is index match. Let's see how index match works. How does index match work? To understand that, first of all, I'll be writing index here and match here. Let's understand them one by one. Now, what index will do? Equal to index. If I write equal to index, it tells me, give me an array. Let's say I'm giving any array. Let's say I'm giving a uh, age. Okay. It's also asking me for a row number. Let's say if I give in five, if I press enter, it gives me the value which lies in this array on row number five. Simple as that. It's giving me the value which lies in this array at row number five. Okay. But this row number five, we need to tell it manually. Okay. What does match do? Now let's have a look on what match will do. Equal to match. Lookup value. This is my lookup value. Where will I find this lookup value? As it is an employee ID, I will find it over here. Okay. Match type. I want the exact match. So for that, I'll be using zero. If I close it, press enter, it would give me seven. That means this employee ID lies in row number seven. If I check it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One double five zero is in row number seven. If I write the index of row number seven over here, it will give me the age of a person who is on row number seven. That means the match of this person who is on row number seven and the age of that person. Right. Now, what if we combine this formula? What if if I change it? Let's say if I put it to uh, one or zero six double four. So this is for Ruby ones. OK, if I change it, my match changes, but my index won't change because I have done it manually. I have written seven manually, but if I write six over here, it would give me the age of Ruby Barnes that is 61. But I have to do it manually. So what we will do, we'll combine index and match together. Match will give us the index and index will give us the value that is present on that index. OK, let's combine them now that equal to index. Let's see how does it work. From this lookup value, I want to find out from this value. I want to find out, let's say name of a person or let's say a salary of a person. So first, let's go with the name. OK, from this value, I want to find the name of a person. So because I want to find the name, I'll pass the array. Now, I do not want to tell the row number because I want it to figure out the row number itself. For that, I'll be passing match over here. What match will do? Match will ask for the lookup value. This is my lookup value. I'll put a comma because we want to find from the employee ID. We'll write employee ID, comma, exact match, zero. Let's close it. Let's close the another bracket as well. Let's press enter and you will see that employee 00644. Employee 00644 is the employee ID of Ruby Barnes and that's how we get the name. And now with the help of salary, let's try to find out the name of the person. Suppose if I write 50994, okay, 50994 is the salary. And with the help of this, I want to find the name of the person. That means I want to find something that is on the left hand side, OK, which is not possible in case of vertical lookup. OK, so let's do it with index match that if I write index, what do I need to find? I need to find the name. OK, now I cannot pass the row number because suppose if I have thousands of data, I won't be checking the row number like that. So I'll be passing match over here for match. Let's just write match. What's our lookup value? 50,990 is our lookup value. Where is our lookup array? The salary is our lookup array. Comma, we want the exact match. Let's close it. Let's press enter. OK. And OK. Match and salary. OK. Let's press enter. And 50994 is the salary. OK, not double zero. 
50994 okay so it gives me the name of the person that 50994 is the salary of joshua gupta so this is how using index match you can find the value which is on the left hand side or even on the right hand side you just need to use index and match together index alone will provide you the value and where to find the index by using the match function you can find the index of a particular row okay this is how index match works together in our next session we are going to discuss about x lookup for which we do not need vertical lookup we do not need any limitations or we do not need to combine any of the two formulas it is very simple we'll be discussing about it in our next session so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you